WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 2 p.m. update. Currently, we have all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow's off 77. S&P's down 35. NASDAQ 231. Russell's off 42. That's a quarter of a percent, eight tenths of a percent, one and seven tenths percent, and two and uh, two tenths percent. Three and a quarter percent for the semis. They're trading out at 3042. You've got the spot volatilities up only two bucks. That's less than 10 percent to the upside. Uh, the XAU is off four and a half percent or seven bucks. Gold Holds back $25. Silver off $0.84. Cents. Lights recruit off $7.43. Let's go spend a little time. Take a look at our cash indice charts in the upper left-hand corner. You've got the Dow. The important thing here is watching the price level of 33.011. That's the red oscillator and change line. You close below it. It suggests going and targeting those January 24th lows. The S&P 500, really the same thing. At the level to be watching there is 42.23. A close below that suggests you go target or perhaps take out those lows from February 24th. Under attack in the NDX 100 is that specific low. Uh, you are in bar number eight, interestingly. It did form bar number nine in the NDX 100 when it formed that bottom. So this could be signaling that you could actually get a bottom today. It's bar number eight, nine to the bar following nine. That could identify the bottom. So that's interesting. We didn't see that when we looked at that earlier, but we do see it now. The Russell 2000 also below its red oscillator and change line. That suggests going and attacking the low of that bullish engulfing candle from the 24th. The semis, they look terrible. So you don't typically get, you can't. You don't typically get the market bottoming without the semis, but sometimes there's a delay by a couple of days out here. But it's trading below all support. So the semis are saying they want lower price. The transports are trading into support. That's that red oscillator and change line, not too far from where we're trading. The number that it's is support is 15,000, basically even Steven. You're at 15,022. Um, the uh, XAU top with a TD9 count. You're trading below its oscillator and change line. That suggests a uh, continued move lower out here. Is there anything else that I can share with you with a couple minutes to go? And the answer is, well, let me just move over and take a look at the uh, gold charts for you. We didn't look at gold during the... Uh, during the uh, show, let me see if I can pop that up on the screen here. If I can be really quick, I will. Here was here comes gold. What do we see with gold? Gold can easily pull back to the 1920 level. That is the bottom of its daily profile, or even 1892.20. That's its breakout level. Folks, thanks so much for joining me. Stay tuned. David White is up next. Your Power Trading Hour. I'll be back with you tomorrow. Terrific Tuesday. Have a magnificent Monday, folks. Thanks so much for joining us.